Imagine waking up one morning, reaching for your phone as you always do, only to discover that it suddenly has no service, no calls, no texts, no internet, just a blank signal where your connection should be. At first you might think it's just a temporary glitch, maybe a network outage or a simple technical hiccup. But then, as you try to refresh your apps, you notice something far more alarming. Your phone buzzes with a flood of notifications, bank alerts about large withdrawals, emails about password changes, and warnings that your social media accounts have been accessed from unknown locations. In a matter of minutes, thousands of dollars could be drained from your accounts, your private messages exposed, and your online identity hijacked. This isn't just a random technical problem or a bad day with your phone provider. What you're experiencing is a calculated, targeted attack known as SIM swapping. It's a form of digital crime that has exploded in recent years, catching everyday people and even high-profile individuals off guard. At the heart of this attack is your SIM card, the tiny chip inside your phone that acts as your digital passport, connecting you to your mobile network and by extension to the rest of the world. It's small, but it holds the keys to your digital kingdom. SIM swapping doesn't discriminate. It's happening every single day, targeting everyone from tech executives and entrepreneurs to students, parents, and retirees. If you use a smartphone, you're a potential target, no matter your age, job, or tech savvy. The threat is so serious that the FBI and other law enforcement agencies have issued public warnings, highlighting the financial devastation and emotional stress this attack can cause. Victims often lose not just money, but also access to their most personal information and cherished memories. What's truly frightening is how shockingly easy it can be for criminals to pull off a SIM swap. With just a few pieces of your personal information, sometimes gathered from social media or data breaches, a fraudster can trick a phone company into handing over control of your number. All it takes is a convincing story and a bit of social engineering. The attacker might call your mobile provider, pretending to be you, and claim that your phone was lost or stolen. With enough details, they can persuade a customer service rep to transfer your number to a new SIM card, one that the criminal controls. This attack exploits the human element, trust, distraction, and sometimes even overworked employees at phone companies. Weak security protocols and a lack of proper identity verification make it all too easy for scammers to succeed. Our smartphones have become the master key to our digital lives. We use them for banking, messaging, shopping, and even as a second layer of security through two-factor authentication. If someone takes control of your number, they can reset passwords, receive security codes, and access your most sensitive accounts. In just a few hours, a criminal can impersonate you, bypass security measures, and lock you out of your own accounts. The consequences can be devastating, financial loss, reputational damage, and a long, stressful recovery process. In this video, we'll pull back the curtain on SIM swapping. You'll see how attackers use a mix of social engineering, technical tricks, and psychological manipulation to take over your digital life. By understanding how these attacks work, you'll be better equipped to spot the warning signs and take steps to defend yourself. We'll share practical tips and real-world examples to help you stay one step ahead of cyber criminals. Remember, this isn't about spreading fear, it's about empowering you with knowledge and awareness. The more you know, the safer you'll be. In today's digital age, knowledge truly is your best defense. Staying informed and vigilant is the key to protecting your identity, your finances, and your peace of mind. So let's break down the SIM swapping process together. By learning how these attacks happen, you'll be able to spot the warning signs early and take action to safeguard your digital identity before it's too late. Before we go further, let's be clear. This information is for your protection, not for committing crimes. Our goal is to help you understand the threat and defend yourself, not to enable illegal activity. SIM swapping and unauthorized account access are serious crimes with severe legal consequences. Law enforcement is cracking down on these offenses. We do not condone or support any illegal hacking. Think of this as learning how burglars operate so you can secure your home. Use this knowledge to audit your own security and stay safe. SIM swapping is a form of identity theft that targets your mobile provider, not your phone. The attacker tricks your carrier into transferring your number to a SIM card they control. Your phone loses service 
and the attacker receives your calls, texts, and security codes. All they need is some personal info, often leaked in data breaches. They impersonate you, claim their phone was lost, and convince customer support to activate a new SIM. Once the swap is done, your number is theirs. They intercept two-factor authentication codes and reset your passwords. Suddenly, your bank, email, and social media accounts are wide open to them. You're locked out, and the attacker is in control. That's the danger of SIM swapping. The real weapon in SIM swapping isn't some advanced piece of technology or a complex hacking tool. It's social engineering. This means manipulating people, not machines. Hackers know that the human element is often the weakest link in any security system, and they exploit this vulnerability with alarming skill. Here's how it usually works. Hackers call your mobile carrier pretending to be you. They often act frantic or desperate, hoping to rush the process and catch the customer service agent off guard. Their goal is to convince the agent to transfer your phone number to a SIM card they control. To sound convincing, these attackers gather personal details about you. They might scour your social media profiles for information like your birthday, address, or even your pet's name. If that's not enough, they can buy stolen data on the dark web, piecing together a profile that makes them sound just like you. Sometimes, hackers take it a step further by bribing insiders at phone companies. With the help of a corrupt employee, they can bypass security checks entirely, making the SIM swap process almost effortless. Phishing and smishing attacks are also common tactics. Hackers send fake texts or emails that look legitimate, tricking you into revealing your login credentials or clicking malicious links. These messages are often crafted to create a sense of urgency or fear, making you more likely to fall for the scam. Once they have your credentials, hackers can log into your account portal and initiate a SIM swap themselves, all without ever speaking to a real person at the phone company. Social engineering is a powerful blend of psychological manipulation and stolen data. Hackers use these tactics to break through even the strongest digital defenses, relying on human error and trust. Remember, it's not always about hacking computers or breaking through firewalls. It's about hacking people. The attacker's greatest tool is their ability to deceive and manipulate. That's why awareness is your best protection. By staying informed and cautious, you can spot the warning signs of social engineering and avoid falling victim to these schemes. Never underestimate the power of a well-crafted lie. In the world of SIM swapping, a single convincing story can be all it takes for a hacker to gain control of your digital life. Beyond social engineering, attackers exploit technical flaws in telecom systems. The SS7 protocol, used to rote calls and texts, has major security gaps that can be abused to intercept messages. Hackers can reroute your calls and texts without you losing service, making the attack invisible. Weaknesses in mobile carrier websites also let attackers request SIM swaps if they get your login info. Malware can steal your credentials or give hackers remote access to your device. These technical exploits often gather the info needed for a final social engineering attack. The combination of human and technical weaknesses makes SIM swapping so dangerous. Staying vigilant is key. SIM swappers use a mix of simple and advanced tools. Their main weapon is information, gathered from social media, data breaches, and dark web markets. For the attack, they use burner phones or VOIP services to call carriers and hide their identity. Blank SIM cards are cheap and easy to buy online. With a convincing story, they get your number transferred to their SIM. More advanced attackers exploit SS7 flaws or use phishing kits to create fake websites and mass text victims. These tools range from basic to highly technical depending on the target. Organized groups use sophisticated methods for high-value victims, but even simple tactics can devastate anyone. That's why everyone needs to be prepared. The fallout from SIM swapping is severe. Attackers drain bank accounts, steal crypto, and max out credit cards within hours. They hijack your email and social media, damaging your reputation and privacy. Victims spend days or weeks fighting to regain control, often with no guarantee of recovering lost money. The emotional toll is huge stress, anxiety, and a shattered sense of security. Many victims live in fear of being targeted again. Trust in technology and institutions is deeply shaken. SIM swapping doesn't just steal money, it steals peace of mind. The recovery process is long and exhausting. Prevention is far easier than repair.
You can fight back against SIM swapping and other digital threats with a few smart, proactive steps. Taking action now can make a huge difference in keeping your personal information and accounts safe from cyber criminals. Start by adding a strong, unique PIN or password to your mobile account. Never use something obvious like your birthday or simple number patterns. The more complex your password, the harder it is for someone to guess or crack it. Contact your mobile carrier and ask about extra security features such as port freezes or number locks. These options can help block unauthorized attempts to transfer your number to another SIM card, which is a common tactic in SIM swapping attacks. Whenever possible, avoid relying on SMS-based two-factor authentication. While it's better than nothing, SMS codes can be intercepted if your number is compromised. Instead, use authenticator apps or physical security keys for your most important accounts, like email, banking, and social media. These methods are much more secure and harder for attackers to bypass. Take time to review your privacy settings on all your devices and apps. Limit what you share online, especially personal details like your phone number, address, or date of birth. The less information you make public, the less ammunition scammers have. Always be wary of suspicious emails, texts, or calls that ask for personal information or urge you to act quickly. Scammers often use urgent language to trick you into making mistakes. Never click on links from unknown sources. If you receive a message that seems suspicious, go directly to the official website by typing the URL into your browser rather than following a link. Set up account alerts for your financial and email accounts. These notifications can help you spot suspicious activity early so you can respond before any real damage is done. If your phone suddenly loses service for no clear reason, Act fast. This could be a sign of SIM swapping. Immediately contact your carrier from another device to report the issue and secure your account. Remember, quick action can limit the damage and help you regain control of your accounts before it's too late. Stay alert, make security a daily habit, and regularly update your passwords and security settings to keep your defenses strong. A little effort now can save you from disaster later. Protecting yourself is easier than you think, and it's always worth it for your peace of mind. Digital security is a constant battle. There's no one-time fix. Criminal tactics evolve, so your defenses must too. Take the steps we've outlined, secure your accounts, use strong authentication, and stay vigilant. Pressure companies to improve their security and training. Don't wait for a crisis. Act now to protect yourself. Stay informed by following trusted cybersecurity sources. Knowledge and action are your best shields. Stay safe and stay secure.